What's up people we are back with more of WAS the hourglass of Lepidoptera So in the previous video I kind of left you guys hanging after what seems to be quite an important choice because We don't want Lin not talking to us ever again or us not being allowed to talk to her ever again Because she seems to be both is she badass as hell and she seems to be quite an important person because she's connected to Rosary in some, some way and I have a feeling she might be a valuable person to have on my good side. So yeah, in a vision that strangely appeared after we saw like a butterfly which only we saw and Lin didn't. We saw in like this alternate, I don't know, it was a vision or something and it turned out that Lin actually didn't have the coin in any of her hands. So we called it on that and we're gonna see what happens. Lin slowly opens both hands. The silver coin isn't in either of her hands. Ka ching Yes! I win this one! Pfft, how did you know? I was sure I did it perfectly. I don't know. Intuition maybe? Oh, my sixth sense. I can't tell her I saw a vision where she opened her hands for me. She'd think I'm crazy if I tell her. I can't really explain what happened to me. But in the end, I won, and that's all that matters. Usually, people would pick a hand. I guess you're more than just some sheltered, arrogant kid. Lin's face becomes much calmer than before. It seems she's letting her guard down with me. Now, do you remember what we promised? Yeah, you win and I lose. I'm not gonna break the promise I made. But I really do have stuff to do today. Can we talk later? Uh, no way! Don't cry, kiddo. I'll teach you whatever you want to learn. What is this? What was that? Rosary knows where I live, so visit my place later. Okay, Master. Sensei Lin. M master? That doesn't suit me at all. Lin is fine. Hmm. But I can't be rude to someone willing to teach me. I'm grown up enough to... Uh, to think about that. So I'll take my cue from what the kids call Rosary. Understood, Linne. Oh my god. Linne. What's wrong, Linne? Not that one either. I know Rosary's okay with it, but I don't think I am. I told you. Just call me by my name. Oh well. Women sure are hard to understand. I'm in your hands, Lin. There we go. I offer my right hand to Lin for a handshake. Ah! Ow! As Lin grabs my hand, she starts putting all her strength into her grip. I hate when people do that. Honestly, when you just give them a handshake and the other person sometimes, not everyone does this obviously, but it's like the other person, I don't know what kind of point he's trying to prove, but he's like trying to break your hand or something. He's like, what the hell are you doing? Just shake hands, you know? Like, hey, not like, Ugh. he's like trying to crush all my bones. How is that even a proper greeting? How can she get such power with her thin arm? So, I'll be going now. Wait! Hmm? Anything else you want, boy? I have a name. It's Tadayoshi. Call me that, not boy. If you want me to call you by name, prove to me first that you're a man. So, is that all you stopped me for? No, but where? Huh? I told you to ask Rosary where I live. No, I was going to ask where Rosary is. I'm lost. <sighs> Don't laugh at me. I'm having serious trouble finding my way back. Ah, uh, you really know nothing of the world. Oh, oh poor Tadayoshi, lost in the slums. Probably the best, or the worst place to get the lost, actually. In the end, Lin told me the way back to the church. I don't know how long I'll be staying in this town. Maybe I'll be here forever. If I want to survive, I need to learn the town's geography. I'll have to cover everything in detail. I'll just imagine like this entire map of, of the, I guess the, the city or whatever, or the slums. And then most of it would be like crossed in red, like don't go here, dangerous, uh, full of people trying to have sex with you regardless of what gender you are. Ah, <sighs> finally! 
Lin must have sent me via the scenic route. I walked with all my might, and the sun has already gone down by the time I reached the church. My muscles are strained from all the walking, shivering like a newborn animals. I... I have to rest. I picture myself resting in my room, cooling myself off with water. And... Oh no. What? Okay, not what I was expecting at all. I was actually expecting like the kids to come running towards us and be like, like, yay, big brother is here and then very, very happy and energetic and they're like, oh my god, I'm so tired, kids, leave me alone. Oh, look who it is. You must be Tadayoshi Kurokawa, the scion of Kurokawa Saibatsu, correct? Huh? Who are you? A suspicious looking man in a black outfit speaks to me. I'm not familiar with anyone like this. I heard that Tadayoshi Kurokawa recently died of a heart attack. Oh wait, that's me, god dang it. I heard that Tadayoshi Kurokawa recently died of a heart attack. You must be mistaken. Or am I? If I remember rightly, you are Tadayoshi Kurokawa himself. He acts like an easygoing person, but he doesn't seem to mock me. Nina also recognized me as Tadayoshi Kurokawa. I think he knows something. Am I gonna be right that this guy sent the letter and he's the protector? So, who are you then? You don't know who I am? <laughs> he questioned me back. I hate conversations like this. But his laughter reminds me. Who is it? Oh, oh. When I try to remember it, I feel a cracking pain in my head. Badum, badum, badum. My heart beats harder, and I break out in a cold sweat. I'm starting to suffocate. Who the hell is this guy? That when you suddenly remember who he is, that you are actually like getting sick and your body starts to act violently. Your heart is beating much, much faster. What the hell? It's like I've been thrown in the water. People of Lepidoptera attract each other. How did you know? I react to the words he just said. People of Lepidoptera, as I begin to hyperventilate. Oh, I have no idea. Meet me again, boy with the power of Cerula, if you have a chance. <laughs> Another uncomfortable laugh and strange words come out of his mouth. He turns back and starts to leave the church. W wait There! You! I want to go after him, but I can't move, and I fall to the ground instead. Okay, what the hell? My headache gets worse, and my vision is getting blurry. As the man leaves the church, I lose consciousness. goodness you're awake where am I is this my room as I open my eyes I see Rosary looking relieved oh the kids are here too of course oh they're so cute don't fall asleep there Tanayoshi it took us forever to carry you here I'm glad you're all right the children peek out from behind Rosary it seems they were worried about me too you didn't wake up when I shook you, or when I hit- Did you hit me? She hit me. Or when I hit you. I was so worried about you. Oh no. Rosary's about to cry. I'm sorry everyone. I, tr I, I tired myself out walking. I didn't tell them I'd met a suspicious man and collapsed because of a bad headache. I don't want them to worry more about me. But I'll have to inform Rosary later. Hmm? What's wrong? No, it's nothing. But I've got a few things to think over. So, could I be alone for now? Okay. 
Alan, Myrna, Julia. Tanayoshi Kun is tired, so you all go back to your rooms. Sure thing, Rosane. <laughs> Sleep well, Tanayoshi. Tanayoshi san, please get some rest. Thank you all. Oh, why are they so adorable? It's like we've gone so long in our life without them, but we've only met them for two days now or something. Or three, I don't know, maybe a bit longer. Oh no, there was actually a segment where it says a couple of days later, so I'll just round it up to a week. But it's almost like I can't imagine my life without them. Rosary understands my intent, and she takes the children to their rooms. Now... I close my eyes and start thinking, where should I start? The strange letter to Nina, the words, people of Lepidoptera, and the protector, the butterfly, and strange visions I saw during the toy cast with Lin, and that suspicious man I met. There's a good chance that he has the clues about all these things. But is there anything I can do for now? Now I think over what I have to do, one, of, one at a time. Lin, Rosary's friend, whom I met today when she was in trouble. She promised she'd teach me martial arts, so I have to be, uh, I have to be strong so I can protect myself and my friends. Rosary didn't just pick me up in the slums, she treats me like a family member now. I have no intention of becoming her prince, no matter what Myrna says. Oh no! Oh my god, has that dream shattered into pieces? But I do intend to support her efforts to help the poor. Nina believed I was still alive, even after being told I died. My marriage with her fell apart due to my death, but Kurokawa Saibatsu won't hold their silence about it. I assume they'll take action against Nina and her family, the Rickensteins. If that upsets Nina, will I be able to give her a helping hand? But she's got Lee's with her now, and Lee's actually useful to Nina, way more than I am at the moment. And that man I just met, odds are good that he knows everything and can tie it all together. I don't know who he really is, but I must find out someday. But for now, I can only deal with the things in front of me, one at a time. I don't have the power to do all these things at once. I have to become stronger before I can start working on them. There's better things to do than just thinking. I should sleep for today, and when I wake up, I'll start acting right away. I give myself up to the sleepiness creeping over me. The shady man I met outside the church at sunset. Meeting him had changed people's wheels of fortune, not just mine, but also those of the people most precious to me. But at this point in time, I didn't know that. Okay, this should be enough for today and tomorrow. This small place in a quarter of this rundown city where only the essentials for living can be acquired. In the corner of an old musty room, I look at a coin in my hand with a grin. After parting with that boy, I went to a gambling parlor I frequently visit to make my living expenses. It's too easy for me. There are few people in the slums who would do a regular job for money. If you want to survive a day, make money that day. I've seen many people who couldn't do that, and give up living in this place. Luckily for me, I'm good at gambling and fighting. Gamble for money, then trade for food. That's enough for me to get by. Before I know it, I've got all I need to survive. I'm not living here because I want to. I want to be stronger, and there are th two things I have to do something about. My brother, and them. Well, Enough of my old stories. That aside, that boy is quite interesting. I find myself remembering the boy I met in the church. Judging by his appearance, he's from a rich family. 
But why is he staying in Rosary's church and living in this dump? Maybe she's got his own reasons for that. But that's got nothing to do with me anyway. In the slums, everyone does what they must to live. If they want to survive, they can't afford to spare a thought for others. But I don't know what he wants. That's the second person after Rosary. I thought he was a sheltered boy who couldn't do anything on his own. But he's ex unexpectedly keen and smart. And he even defeated me in gambling. <laughs> I'm very confident in gambling. I haven't lost one since I got here. Until he won. I'll have to teach him my techniques in return. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't remember the last time I laughed out li loud like this. I'm getting a bit excited. This is rather unlike me. I want that boy to come see me, for sure. I'm gonna vent my frustration over today's loss on him. Ever since I came here, I've lived a dissipated life full of bad memories. This is the first time I've ever looked forward to tomorrow. Oh, I should sleep now. I crawl into bed and close my eyes. I can't remember the last time I ended the day feeling so refreshed. Hmm, turn right here, wait, or is it left? But the map says up, so should I jump up? I'm going to see Lin, I'm trying to find her place, relying on the map Rosary drew for me. She should have asked Julia or Mina to make it, she's got no talent for drawing. The more I look at the map, the more I feel like I'm losing myself in another world. Needless to say, I have no sense of direction, which only makes it worse. While I'm looking around for a way up, a bunch of thugs approach me. Oh no, the thieving thugs. I've got a bad feeling about this. Lost your way? I can help you. Yeah, drop your pants probably something. They always say stuff like that, right? Oh my god. In exchange for everything you got. <laughs> oh, my feeling was right. Rosary told me that Lin lives in the most dangerous quarter of the slums. But I failed to avoid danger, despite her warning. It's hard to avoid danger though, right? Especially because if Lin lives in the most dangerous quarter, to get to Lin's house, you actually have to travel into danger to get there, right? So technically, it would actually be impossible to avoid danger. And if we really want to make it cliche, that guy from before should just show up right now. <laughs> the man in a jumpsuit who looked at me with some sort of weird emotion comes to mind. Things would get even worse if he showed up. And my bad premonitions often come true. Hey, that boy's mine! Oh my god, there he is! How did that man get here? See what I mean about my bad premonitions? Wh wait! I saw him first! You're gonna have to wait your turn! We did! We can sell that kid's clothes for enough money to buy tons of food! The thugs start quarreling with the man in the jumpsuit. Hey, this might be a good time to start running. Oh yeah, this is the appropriate time to see silently and as fast as possible sneak away. Sorry, but I don't deal with straights. So, I'll be off you. I try to run while they're arguing with each other. Hey boy, you can't run. I won't let you go. Ooh, don't worry. It only hurts the first time. Take part in this rosy pleasure with me. I'll use my muscles to help you become a man. Oh my god, please dude, stay away from me. I'm gonna get nightmares about this guy. Just, just like a weird guy in a jumpsuit running after me trying to... You know, get with me. Oh god, please stay away. The man in a jumpsuit says with a shiny, toothy grin. His pleasant smile gives me a chill. Ugh. I have no idea what he's talking about, 
but my instincts tell me I'm better off not knowing. So I should just run while the thugs are distracted. When I try to run around without them noticing me, I sense that the atmosphere has suddenly become tense and sharp. This change in the air, it turns the, a savage mood in the slums far more chaotic. What makes it so? Oh, I see a nice man with an aura of danger. Hey, don't mess with us. Yeah, get back if you don't want to get hurt. The thugs and the man in the jumpsuit yell at the person who just arrived. Is it the suspicious man? It is. This is no good. How uncomfortable this place is. But it's inevitable for those who have never been taught good manners. Y you! The man in black suddenly appeared. I've been looking for him for a while, but I didn't expect to see him here. Don't mock me, dude! Oh, I see you're at least competent enough to know when you're being mocked. They start arguing with the man in black. Hey, stop that! Can they see how tough their enemy could be? I can't believe they can live somewhere like this without considering that. Even I, without any skills in martial art or fighting, can tell that the man in black is really dangerous. Yeah, like, obviously, people that dress in black are dangerous and people that dress in white are very nice and angel-like. Like me. Okay, I'm definitely not an angel. Well, well, you seem to be smart. That means you'll live longer. In contrast, those scum are either daredevils or imbeciles. Why not both? <laughs> Imbecile daredevils. The man in black stares at the thugs. That alone makes me shiver. Today's not my day, I guess. Sorry, we'll leave. The man's gaze scared them off. We've never even seen this guy's eyes yet. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, for some reason this seems really freaky. Oh my god. Like, if those people, yeah? Those people in the slums, they're like used to, to dangerous situations on a daily basis. If they get scared off by this guy's gaze alone, whose eyes we haven't even seen yet, what, what, I imagine what they look like. Are they like pure red with evil or what? Now that the nuisances have been dispatched, shall we talk? Sure, I've been wanting to talk to you too. I find him very intimidating, even when he's just standing there. Lee's is far more likable, by comparison. But I didn't expect to see you on this side. Hmm. Huh? Me on this side? What do you mean? Oh, my apologies. That's for me to know. Huh. I can't stop thinking about his words, but I'll come back to that later. There's a lot of information I want from him. Now, Mr. Tadayoshi, or should I call you, uh, Serula, is it Serula or Kerula? I wanted to ask you last time, what does Serula mean? I had a headache when I met him last time, but I'm fine now. So I'll try to squeeze him for every bit of information he's got. I don't know about that. Then how did you know I'm Tadayoshi Kurokawa? How do I know? <laughs> he said he wants to talk, but he doesn't seem inclined to answer my questions. Hey, can you try to keep the conversational ball rolling? I have lots to ask you. <laughs> Do you think that I'll tell you everything without something in exchange? I see. You're not giving away free information. So what do you want in return? Depending on your price, I could pay. But I suppose you want me to pay in favors, or rather work, or, or work rather than anything tangible, right? You're very intuitive, Cerula. In that case, I'd like you to make a deal with me. I thought so. What do you want me to do then? Tell me your favor so I can consider it. 
I believe he knows everything I want to know. I think, unless something seems really unusual, it's best to accept his offer. First, I want you to wake Viridis. Viridis. Viridis? Viridis is a chrysalis. I want you to catch it and wake it. That's your first step. <laughs> Cerula means blue and Viridis means green. So if I'm Cerula, then is Viridis someone else? I can't do anything unless you tell me who Viridis is. Don't worry, you're destined to meet Viridis. Who or what is Viridis? You'll find out. Hey, I can't understand a single word you're saying. I don't know what he really wants. Catch it? And wake it? What does he mean? Does he? I mean, he said Chrysalis, which is like the... God dang it, I should remember this because it was, it was the name of the very first episode of Life is Strange. And it had something to do with the with butterflies and, and I think it's, it has something to do with the cocoon or something. Or the, the stage where a cocoon turns into a butterfly, something along those lines. Yeah, I think it's actually just the, the pupa face of a butterfly. So basically it's cocoon stage, I think. When you have fulfilled your task, you will see me again. I hope that when I see you again, you're in a position to accept my offer. After those words, the man in black turns around. Wait, we're not done yet! Before I finish my words, there's a gust of wind forcing me to shut my eyes. Was that a dream? I'm sure I only closed my eyes for a few seconds, but the man in black disappeared in an instant. Veridis. I don't know if, that, if it was a dream or an illusion, but his word, Veridis, is stuck in my head. No point thinking about it for now. I have to visit Lin. Without more information, I can't do anything about it. So I have to tackle what's directly in front of me. Well, we are gonna end the video here. In the next video, we're just gonna, you know, go on and continue our visit to Lin's house. But at least we're we're knowing, getting to know more about the story, despite the fact there's still a lot of mystery surrounding it. But I had a feeling before that this mysterious man in black had a lot to do with it and it's basically been confirmed. But what exactly everything is, I have no idea. But it seems like we're, I don't think soldier is the right word for it, but we're like part of, unknowingly part of this group of uh, Lepidoptera and we're, uh, we're blue. Some other person is green, which we need to find. So. I don't know exactly what the hell is going on and it's still quite vague but at least it, at least it's taking shape a little bit so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in the next video and I kind of apologize for kind of I'm feeling really tired right now so I'm gonna go sleep right now as well so yeah I apologize if the this particular video didn't feel as upbeat as in the other ones and whatnot but yeah I'm gonna go sleep for today and uh, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace!